What is up you guys, you're watching Sergio's Secrets. Before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I post a video every single day. If you are interested in fashion related type content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you'll see a video every single day by me. And today's video is going to be a very, very, very excited video. This, I love to post a video about this brand every single chance I get and today we're going to be doing a Tory Burch video so I have a few items that I purchased from Tory Burch two that I've already shown and two that I haven't shown yet so I'm going to show you the four items that I got and then I'm also going to be showing you their new arrivals and what are my thoughts and my opinions because believe it or not I do get a lot of DMs about Tory Burch's but their items that do I like them? Do I not like them? Are they worth the money? Are they not worth the money? And also, Tory Burch is doing their semi-annual sale right now. So, something a little extra 25% off um, the sale price. So, I have some of my top favorite picks. And sometimes, like, if stuff goes out of stock or something, I'll leave the direct link to the actual item. So, you it, it'll, you know, show you if it's actually sold out or maybe if there's one left but they took it out of the website where you can't really find it without the exact same link. As always, the links for everything will always be in the description box at your convenience and I always find a lot of great sell links as well so if that interests you all the links will always be down below and other than that let's get started with the video like I said Toy Birch is one of my favorite contemporary brands um, just because of like the quality of the items the price point the when I look at the items the aesthetic like uh, I just really like Tory Burch items. I've been a fan of Tory Burch since I was probably in high school when I first had my Robinson wallet back in the day when she got the older packaging. I've always liked Tory Burch bags. So excited, guys, to be showing you my new bag. Mi nueva bolsa que acabo de comprar from Tory Burch. So um, I'll give you a backstory and I'll insert the clip right here because I, I have the clip of me trying it on in the store. So for me, I've been waiting for the Tory Burch store to open. So I believe the one in Fort Worth and the one in Highland Park, and I live in Dallas, by the way, so you just kind of have a reference. But esas dos tiendas abrieron. Pero for me, I always like to shop at North Park, which is kind of like the premier kind of shopping center in Dallas. And so when, so like one day I was just shopping and I saw that the boutique was open. So I wanted to look at this particular item. I bought it online, but it's nothing like looking, buying it, seeing it in person and buying it right then and there. You know what I mean? You get the nice customer service, you get the nice packaging, the whole shebang. So I went into the store. I didn't really have a lot of stuff because I felt the day that I went was the first day that they opened. But they did have some new arrivals and they had this particular bag right here. It is the Toy Birch Miller little mini bag bag and they have them in all the colors besides the color that I wanted which is the white one so they had like a green one they had a blue one they had a red one like they had it came in a multiple I think like in five or six colors and for me like I, I I'm always like I've always kind of wanted that mini bag but I don't know if you guys remember like if you're familiar with my canal I bought um, a Jack Moose little baby one but that one was just a little bit too small and I feel like the mini Miller a already goes with a lot of items that I have from Toy Birch, so it can be a very uniform. It goes with my style, it goes with my collection, and I feel like it, I can dress it up or I can dress it down, and it's not something that is not as novelty that I can get a little bit more wear, and it actually fits some stuff, so tried it on and they didn't have it in store so I had to order it online and I got it yesterday and I was so happy. Like when I unbox when I got the like I ordered it in store and when I got the box Oh, I was so happy. So, I'm going to show you lo que compré. And let's go ahead and show you guys. So, lo que compré is the Toy Birch Mini Blanco. Like, mira que blanquito está. It's literally Toy Birch Miller Mini Little Crossbody. So, the MSRP on this one is $128. And I also thought that was a great price point for this item. I know this is... Some people may consider this like an accessory, not even a handbag. Some people may consider this just a little novelty item. But for me, um, I like to have a little bit of novelty items, but not too much. And I like to be very edited in what I pick. But as you can see, look, <laughs> mira que grande son mis manos. So as you can see, like it is a, a tiny bag, but it actually packs quite a bit. It can actually fit what I wanted it to fit. So for me, I don't know if you guys can see there, I have my credit card. So I have my credit card, my ID, credit cards and an ID and then I have my Apple AirPods and actually I can fit a little bit more as well so I can fit three credit cards per se the AirPods and I can probably put my um, car key in here and that's all I really need and I can just put my actual keys in my car 
is that safe? Is that not safe? I'm not really sure. But if it's like that and then I just carry my cell phone and that's pretty much it. And so, like I said, I've been wanting it because like Troy Birch posted this picture. If anybody knows anything about this, definitely let me know. But they were, I, they were supposed to come out with like mini Ella's and mini Lee Roswell's. I don't know if that's still a thing, if that's still going to come out. So if anybody can answer that question, I would really appreciate it. Because honestly, that's what I was waiting for. I know during holiday, they had like the mini um, Ella tote, but it was it, it was still kind of like a little big, if you know what I mean. Because like they have a little, they have a bigger size of this one, but it's still, um, you know, yes, it's small, but it's still, it's not like mini. I said, I got it yesterday. I was so happy. And today I'm going to be wearing this. So the way I'm going to be styling this little mini, um, I'm going to be wearing a classic white tee, <laughs> you know, my essential white tee, into shorts. Normally, I don't like to wear shorts. I like to wear, like, trousers or full-on, like, denim. But um, I've had these in my closet for, like, a year, and I'm finally just now kind of wearing them. They're a little bit big, but that's what I like about them. They're from Girlfriend, and I just like how they kind of, like, have these little details. Like, they're still, like, distressed, but the rest of my outfit's going to be very clean cut. So I feel like it's fine. So I'm going to be wearing a white tee, the, these girlfriend shorts. I'm going to be wearing my Miller. And then I'm going to be wearing the Troy Birch House sneakers, which I'll get to in a second. I thought that'd be, like, a really, really nice kind of cute effortless outfit. And, yeah, so you, if you follow me on Instagram, guys, which I highly suggest. Oh, I also forgot I'm doing my vlog sale next Friday. So if you are interested in buying some of my items, so I'll give you kind of a, some things that I'm selling just so you can kind of have an idea. Some Michelle watches. I'm selling a YSO handbag. I'm selling um, Burberry coat. I'm on Clair coat. I'm selling, for, I'm selling a lot of great items. So if you're interested, um, I'll leave the link down below. I'm not s accepting any requests until next week, but you can already send, like, an actual request. So whenever I start approving the request you are already there and you don't forget so you'll be seeing a vlog video next week on my channel but go ahead and follow me on instagram so you can stay up to tune with everything and yeah like i literally bought this and i'm so happy like i kind of wanted that mini bag trend and like i said i don't know what it is guys i've been into white bags so it all started i'm gonna blame you right here coach cassie it started with this little puppy right here and then i got the mark jacob snapchat which is right there and now i have this one I don't think I need any more. I feel like white is the new black for me. Like, like I've been wearing like a lot of like white blouses, white tees, like white jeans, trousers. Like for me, like I've just never thought I can maintain white items. But I've actually been pretty well with all my white items. So I've I've been wearing more white. Like white is my new favorite color that I've been wearing. You know, I used to only wear black tees, black trousers, which I still do. But I, I've just been white a lot. So of this, the glazing, what I like is that it has very minimal silver hardware. I don't like the big tassel on the bigger, like, Miller crossbodies. But since this one's a little bit more, like I said, a little more petite, a little bit more cute, I do like it. And on the inside, it has, um, it has Troy Birch stamped in silver. I love this little pack. I cannot wait to get a lot of wear out of it. And hopefully, you know, 2020 has been a crazy year. But hopefully, I'm able to take this to a vacation in the kind of summertime so we shall see but this is my new baby so this is it I'm gonna be talking about the next item that I bought so I'll show you the shoe box just in case if you want to see it uh, it's up here These are the shoes that I've been wanting for the longest so they come in a box like this just like how all your toy bird shoes are going to come with. The shoes that I'm talking about are these ones right here. And these are the Toy Birch Howl sneakers. And for me, like I said, I've wanted these sneakers the moment they came out. But then you know what happened. And I just didn't have a chance to buy them. I was waiting to see if I can get them for a slight discount. It happened. But like I said, sometimes when you just like something, you should just go for it. That's why I know, like, you know, I always get a lot of great deals. So I don't... I. I don't mind justifying paying full prices on items that I really like. In a video about designer items that I returned and why, you'll see why I um, why I ended up going for these. Because I bought a pair of Adidas shoes and I just really wasn't happy with them because I was kind of buying that one to kind of buy this. But I didn't end up wearing the other one, so I, you know, I ended up buying the ones that I actually wanted. They have the Iconic TT right here. They have Toy Birch on the tongue right here. Um, they're nice and they're comfortable, like the sole. Um, these are just like a shoe. It kind of reminds me of the Alexander McQueen, like, on the top. I just feel like it's just such a nice, effortless sneaker. Like I said, this sneaker, the top, the shorts, the little crossbody, you are out the door. You look cute, you look elevated. I can wear these with black trousers, with 
blue full long denim um i can just wear them with everything they're just kind of a core item for me if you know me my my signature outfit is a black or white tee a blazer um denim or trousers and a sneaker and a bag and i'm out the door that's like my signature look like i said i've been wanting them since they came out they're a best seller they're really comfortable i am a true toy birch um size now i want to be showing you another item that i i've already shown but just in case if you didn't see it because it is a new style for toy birch and this is the toy birch walker sack i'm going to quickly talk about it real quick because i have been using it and so if you do want to watch a video about this bag i have an unboxing where i unbox four handbags i'll leave link down below for you guys but it is essentially black italian leather it is in this kind of um it's kind of like in this kind of grainy leather. It has feet in the bottom. Let's see how many we have. Okay, so we have one left because we went from four to three to two in no mas uno. Well, when I got it, I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger, but I actually really like the size of this one. It has a full strap on it with the gold hardware. On the inside, it is lined. I think mis cosas aquí. It has lined with this kind of brown Sofiano. And in this leather right here, too, if anything happens, you can literally wipe it. I literally was caught in the rain and I literally just wiped it off. It has a zipper right here. It has two pockets in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it comes with a cliche that's maroon. I personally don't have it on just because I don't have a lot of stuff maroon. But maybe in the fall time, I'll put it back on. But yeah, I saw this bag. I was like, oh, I love it. I need to have it. I've been wanting kind of like a black satchel kind of like a Burberry banner to like a Saint Laurent Sac de Jour type of vibe. And I was going to go for, like, the St. Laurent. I saw this one. This one just kind of, like, made my heart beat. You know when something speaks to you and you're like, oh, my God. It spoke to me. And so I went for it. And I've been really, really liking it. But like I said, I talked about this in my video a couple weeks back. So, like I said, I'll leave the link down below. But this is the new style of the Walker Satchel. Love, love, love her. She is just, like, a nice everyday satchel bag. And if you do like this particular style, but it could be a little bit too small there is a larger version as well the other item that i bought with the toy birch walker is this one right here so this is my toy birch walker card case so normally i would be using it right now because i transition it from bag to bag from you know big toe to little small mark jacobs to my walker satchel my peri tote like to a lot of bags but right now i'm going to be using that mini miller bag so um i did take my cards out to put in there the iconic toy birch kind of robinson logo it has five it has a full zipper nice and smooth i really like that and i think i have something yeah i have something in there and for me i've been getting questions of the cards fall off i have it but I wouldn't recommend putting more than one card on there either. So just FYI, like if you do buy this one, I think you should be fine. But I would definitely not put over um, one card. I would definitely leave it at once. But I do really like it. I like the glazing of it. Like I said, I think I've had the satchel in the card, this card case for about a month now. And so far, so good. No issues. And I'm, like I said, I'm really happy with my purchase. Yeah, so now that I showed you kind of my Toy Birch items, I will be go ahead and showing you some of their new arrivals. We're going to be looking at them, and we're going to be talking about them right now. Okay, so let me show you the first item that's part of their new arrivals, guys. It is this Kira Deconstructed Hobo. So, like, last week I was on the Toy Birch website, and I saw all these new arrivals. And whenever I see new arrivals, I... I usually get very, very excited. Not necessarily excited because I may buy some of the items, but just to see what brands put out and what, like, you know, are they going to put the same bag in a different color? Are they going to do something completely different? Are they going to introduce kind of like a new core style? So it's always very interested, and especially from a lot of the contemporary brands, um, I like to see what they have. So the first one, like I said, the Kira Deconstructed Hobo. When I saw this, and the it was on the landing page, so pretty it looks like it's very very big like very big i like the big cure kind of logo on there i feel like if it was any more smaller any more bigger i think it was proportionally done really well i like that it has just a gold zipper i just feel like it's just like a effortlessly hobo i feel like it is big so i feel like you would have to be like maybe like five seven a little bit taller than to carry this one just by the way that the photos looked um, a lot of these items weren't in the Toy Bridge store that one day because I wanted to look at them in person. They didn't have it. It comes in three colors. It comes kind of like in that 
nudie color it comes like in a maroon color and i believe it comes in black as well but i cannot wait to see this in person i cannot wait to try it on and the moment that i'll do i'll let you guys out I'll, I'll show it on instagram so that's why i always say follow me on instagram because you see when i post and you know just the whole shebang so yeah the cure disinfected hobo it's 700 dollars. it's a little it, well it is really expensive for a troy birch bag but I cannot wait to like I, I, just the excitement of this bag not even a bag that I would even buy for myself like a bull person But I really 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 like this bag a lot I think it's just a beautiful bag next item that was part of their new arrivals were the Troy Birch Miller sandals But in a cork style so normally I'm not the biggest cork fan But I like how it has a little bit of blue in it so it's cork it's white and it's blue Sorry, I'm looking down right here to look at the item and so I think it's a little bit different. Um, Tory Burch Miller sandals are an iconic shoe. You guys already know, like, in the department stores, even, like, in the mega luxury where they sell a lot of different, like, designer brands, the Miller sandal or, like, Tory Burch shoes in general does so, so, so well. Uh, like, this kind of variation. Like I said, normally I don't like cork, pero me gusta poquito que tiene azul. I think it's nice. It's cute. Ooh, especially if you get, like, your nails done in white. Ooh, that would be such a cute, cute little, like, situation right there. So, I do like that. They also kind of came out with kind of, like, their, kind of, like, their Birkenstock style. I know they came out with one that was, like, the Kira that had, like, a thick, it looked like a sneaker type of shoe. I'll just put the picture right here. That one's already been out for a while, but they came out with a new one. It's called the Shobi Tubin Espigil Slide. It comes in at 198 It comes in three colors, white, black, and, like, a reddish, maroonish color. It has more, like, of an Espigil style. So, I like that because I feel like you can kind of make it a lot more casual or you can dress it up a lot more the thing is with anything that's espadrille you have to be incredibly careful just because espadrilles tend to um like if you're caught in the rain or if you step on a mud you have to be very very careful whenever you wear anything espadrille but what i like about these shoes is that i like the little hardware that's a little circle and it has a t so it's not normal it's not normally like a t t it's just like a little bit more sleek like you can tell it's tory but it's not like it's not like, oh my god, these are Toy Bird shoes. They're like a little bit more minimal. I do like the distressing leather. It has a little bit more like, it's not necessarily like flat. It has a little bit of a height to it. So I think that's cute as well. But I did quite, I did get two DMs about this one. What were my thoughts? I really like them. Like I said, I want to look at all the new arrivals, but they didn't really have a lot. So hopefully, like, you know, maybe in the next couple of weeks, they'll start getting a lot of the new stuff. But I do, do really like the Espadrille slide. Another thing is they introduced the Kira in a smaller size. So it, it comes in the bigger size. I believe it's 528, the Chevron one. It's a very popular bag. A lot of people tend to really like the Kira. But like I said, they introduced it in a smaller version. So the smaller versions come in maroon. It comes kind of like in a pinchy peak, yellow, and black. So I'm excited to see the proportions and to compare the difference in store. But I'm glad they kind of introduced it. It's kind of like the Troy Birch classic Fleming you know how the Fleming is they have the classic one and they have a little bit of a smaller one so I like that they have two for two different type of customers next new style that I saw on their website was the Perry triple compartment tote I have the black one right here I really like it I think it's a very clean cut tote the middle zipper fits your laptop and that's something that I really wanted was a tote that can fit my laptop and I really like it it fits it does the job really well actually gonna make a personal appearance she is right here. She is a core. She is a classic style. And so they introduced a new colorway. So it is kind of like a maroony with like a light pink as like the little clochette. And what I like about it, because normally I wouldn't consider this more like of a now bag. But I feel like since it has kind of like that shell pink kind of like little cliche, I feel like you can wear it now and you can also wear it in the winter. So I feel like that little cliche made the world of a difference. So I really like that. I like the peritote and I do like this new color also have a new gemini link colorway so it is a kind of like a kind of a maroony like that color like that maroony kind of like dark red is kind of in a lot of their colors and it has kind of like a navy and it looks like more like of a gray with like a blue like a dark dark blue like not necessarily like a navy but kind of like a bluish grayish color like how the gemini links on the little straps it has the little t stitching on them i really appreciate that and a lot of the, the small details for me does make a difference so i really really like that they do that but now let's go to the fun section the toy birch semi annual sale up to 60 percent off additional 25 percent off like i said all the links for everything will be down below a lot of the stuff do tend to go so i will post this video as soon as i'm done filming it 
the first item that we have guys is going to be the toy birch robinson in a blue color so what i like is that it retails for 348 it is on sale for 239 and with the additional 25 percent off it makes it 180 from 348 i already talked about the robinson if you do want to see a toy bridge guide i have a video called the best and worst toy bridge handbox i will leave a link down below for you guys if you're interested and i talked about how the robinson has been perfected throughout the years it is a really good bag for it has a lot of pockets it's a good travel bag even though if it doesn't have a full zip but if you're kind of if you travel a lot a lot i like how you know everything is where you can put like if you carry your laptop you can put your laptop in the zipper you can put your charger you can put you know sb cards cameras like you can put everything and it's also a good work bag in the front pocket i like that it's nice and deep and you can put your cell phone in there and it's nice and secure so i do like the robinson toe and who doesn't really like a good sell the next item that they have two peri totes and two colorways that are on sale so i one of my favorite colors so my favorite colors for me is like black white and gray and then my kind of two kind of more color colors are going to be um blue and green so they have this green like this forest green color with a yellow clochette personally i would probably take the yellow clochette off but i do like the green kind of classic peri toe kind of look it reaches, it reaches for 348 on sale for 239 and they have it for 180 so i think that's a pretty decent price and they also have it and be blue color which is the same color as the robinson tote and it has the green cliche on that one now on that colorway i would probably keep the cliche on and yeah 180 for a classic peri tote um the green would be really nice for now but i feel like ooh, that'd be a really nice bag for the fall time as well like i said easy hands-free i know you can fit your laptop in it but this one's a good like mommy bag a good work bag so have an ella tote they have the black puffer one so i feel like you could kind of get away with wearing it now just because it's a black nylon bag i feel like a black nylon black i feel like a black classic nylon bag in general you can never go wrong with actually if i didn't buy my toy birch mini miller to, if i didn't get it today i was going to wear my ella toy birch ella puffer tote it is 209 on sale from 298 and it's 157 so it's about half off and the classic ella tote retails for 198 so just kind of an fyi to kind of see the price point so you do get about like maybe like 40 something dollars off if you decide to go for the puffer version versus the kind of classic one if you were going to go for the classic one anyway and it's the same kind of it's the same size it's the same kind of large moving on with some chanclas so they have the yellow like i said these are not all the shoes and not all the handbags i'm just kind of giving you my favorite picks so like i said the links down below if you want to check everything out and they have the iconic kind of yellow kind of miller sandals um for 120 with the additional 25 percent off what i like is oh my god like if you have white nails like they'll just the contrast of them will pop in the red color and the, the, the price of it is going to be 120 as well and i also wanted to let you guys know that i also wanted to let you guys know that they have the classic nude uh, patent ones for 112 so that's weird because they're a lot less than the other colored ones you would think that the colored ones would be a little bit less than the classic nude one but they have the nude miller sandal for 112 that's such a great deal guys a classic miller sandal in the nude color patent for 112 so if you, there's something from this video that's on sale that i would tell you to jump is on the miller sandals especially 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 on this color right here if they're in your size i would definitely go for them also have the miller sandal in blue and in white on sale so the white one like i said i would think that the colored ones would be a little bit more pr uh, less but the white one is 112 as well and kind of that birch color so let's say if you get like the fleming bag or if you have like the white cassie bag um if you get these white ones i think that's like a little bit of a nice contrast because it's not necessarily like a white white color it's more like of a like an off-white kind of more like of a ivory type color so like i said if you can get your hands on um the white ones or the nude ones i think that'd be a really really great purchase that you can bring out year after year also like the color ones the miller sandals never go out of style it's your number one bestseller and that shoe is never going to go anywhere the, the next couple of years the blue one is 105 with the code and this one is in a blue patent color the mandan thong sandal my mom has the older version of them she's actually wearing them yesterday she really likes them and they are what 67 dollars from 158 and they are just a classic leather sandal that you can dress up or dress down versus kind of the plastic one so i just thought i would mention them 67 bucks i mean you, this is something you can wear all year round you can wear them around the house you can wear them on vacation um going grocery shopping like i mean i don't think you can go wrong with the um mandan thong sandal and there are two wallets that i want to show you so if you do like 
the wallet that I have, the one that you can put all the cards like that, they do have a Perry color block version of it for $52. So if you maybe don't want to commit to the $100 or maybe you want to see if it works for you, maybe you just like this colorway just because when you throw it in your bag, you can kind of find it a lot better because um, it has, like, like I said, it's a color block. So for $52, I mean, I would give it a try. I like the, really like the one that I have and this is going to be kind of my current wallet. I've been wanting, like I said, when I told you, I've been, you know, I've had card cases, but I wanted something where I can see all my cards. I just feel like I just find it. It's easy and I can transition to every bag. So I did want to let you guys know that the Perry version is on sale for $52. And they also have some Robinson zip wallets for $105. So they have the pinky one without a handle. And they have then the green one and the kind of yellow color with the handle. So what I like with the ones about the handle is that you can put your cell phone in it. So it's kind of like a little wristlet. And I feel like you can bring it into like a stadium. Usually I always see people have like those little wallets and they normally don't really say anything because it's more like of a wallet than a handbag if anything so if you do really like wristlets if you do really like going to stadiums i think it's a really great choice like i said personally here in texas i see people have these all the time and they never really say anything and it's um it's off in a leather so si algo pasa you can literally just wipe it clean like you can literally run put water run your fingers as hard as you can and nothing went well you guys already know it. Don't like go like that. But you know what I mean? You can kind of, you know, run your little fingers through it and nothing's going to happen to it. And for 105, about half off, I think it's pretty decent. And what I like about colored wallets is like if it's like in your tote, right? And you, if you're, everything else is black or like the lining of a bag is black, you can kind of see like the yellow pop at you, the green pop at you. And it's off Yano, so if it gets kind of with other items, I think it should be fine. That's going to be the, the end of the video, guys. We talked about my new favorite items that I purchased, some of the new hottest rivals from the Toy Bridge website, some of my top favorite sell picks from the Toy Bridge semi annual sale. Uh, we're not doing the Victoria's Secret semi annual sale anymore. We're moving to other brands like Toy Bridge semi annual sale, the North anniversary so that's gonna be coming up you'll be seeing a lot of videos about that and yeah guys thank you thank you so much for being with me those all the links will be down below let me know what type of content you want to see on this channel any related videos and los miro hasta la próxima thank you thank you so much for being with those y los miro hasta la próxima and like i said uh, i just cannot guys i cannot wait to wear my little mini miller bag today like such a moment right here